In this MMP1 tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to switch the base management filters from IIR to FIR type filters. If you're not familiar what this actually means, um, the IIR filter is called infinite impulse response, and it has the characteristic of being very accurate in the frequency domain. So the uh, uh, filter changes are very accurate um, across all frequencies, or very smooth, shall we say. Uh, FIR stands for finite impulse response filters. And FIR filters are more accurate in the time domain. So uh, the best way to describe it is they might have more punch in the low end. The, the, the transients, the timing of the waveforms are more accurate with FIR filters. Uh, with IIR filters, the content of the harmonics and frequencies is more accurate with an IIR filter. So with base management systems, sometimes you might prefer to have IIR filters in the filter slopes of the base management system rather than FIR filters, where uh, maybe in a, a film context, you'd want IIR filters. But if you're mixing music, perhaps you might want something that's more accurate in the time domain. In any event, the MMP1 allows you to switch those filters between FIR and IIR. So let's take a look. Here I am on the speaker matrix page where we can see currently all the filters for this 5.1 speaker system are set to IIR filters. So if we go to the settings tab and then underneath scene and the speaker matrix sub page, we have access to the process type for the filter. And here's where we can change these filters to FIR. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all these channels. You also can do this individually if, for whatever reason, a certain speaker channel uh, will benefit from FIR or IIR over the other speaker channels. Um, but I think uh, typically uh, you would use all of the same type of process for all the filters in the base management system. Okay, so now I've switched all those channels to FIR filters. Um, but now, how, how can I do that quickly or while I'm listening to program material to audition what the change actually sounds like? That's where we use the change to IIR checkbox. And if we turn all of these checkboxes on, we'll be able to use a user defined key to globally switch all of the filters between FIR and IIR all at once. So now I'm going to go over to the user assignable tab. I'm going to pick button number three and select the filter type change to IIR function like this. And now I'm going to label this FIR IIR for the switch. Now, if I go to the main page, we'll see this new button. If I press the button, all of the filter types in the speaker matrix are now going to switch to IIR. You can see it right there. If I go back to the main tab, press the button again, will return to FIR, like that. So now you're able to switch all of the filter types in the base management system between FIR and IIR process. So this allows you, with the touch of a button, to audition the change in sound of your speaker system uh, between these two different filter types. Mm -hmm. 